hey, my boss just got married, and due to a combination of Indian tradition and him being a bro, he brought us these little snack boxes. He left before I could ask him much about them. What are they called and what are they made out of? I have eaten some of these after a friend visited India and brought them back. They are probably very pistachio based, with lots of cardamom, and they will get more liquid over time. Eat them soon and enjoy them, that shit is delicious. The white block to the left is made with cashew nuts and sugar, it is called cashew barfi. The yellow block looks like it is mango flavored barfi. The circular one looks like dried fig with nuts stuffed in it. The shiny ones have edible silver foil and are also made from almonds, cashews, and pistachio nuts. They are all made with clarified butter and are delicious desserts. Enjoy. I'm not Indian but I'm craving everything in this picture. Got this from my grandfather, very heavy, looks like a mortar, looks like a 75mm he shell of WW2 vintage, if your family legend does not include a big red lettered note saying this thing is definitely demilled, I'd be very very cautious handling it, it has been fired, as the rifling grooves have left their impression on the driving band, if it has not been made safe, it is quite possibly still live, and in all probability very very volatile. Explosives tend to get more touchy with age, don't handle it, don't put it in a place where it can get hot, call your local law enforcement to come get rid of it, definitely report this to the police, it could explode and take you, your family, and your entire house along with it, the bomb was armed, the Swedish bomb squad has taken care of it, thanks to every single one of you for warning me, you possibly saved my life, Asir. This tank looking thing on top of an office building in Atlanta, Georgia. Boom for window washers and presumably window replacers to access the windows. How do they clean the center of the building which does not have one of these over it? The thing is on tracks. Solved. What is this demonic looking creature? Male Cretanato's gang is moth with its scent glads out to attract females. Those structures are called Kormata. This guy lives in Australia and South Asia. This specific specimen came from Indonesia. But lots of butterflies and moths around the world have them and related structures which are called hair pencils. Scent glands out. Where do they go when they retract? They deflate. Kormata are stored in the abdomen when not in use. And when the male wants to send out a chemical signal to attract females and possibly repel other males, he uses air or hemolymph to inflate and deploy the apparatus. What are these circular metal things on these stairs? I just hit my knee and goddamn did it hurt. Those are skate deterrents. Wouldn't have thought a business park would need these. Skaters will go where the grind is. They're designed to prevent skateboarders from sliding down them. Nazi key, so I found this key in with a bunch of things I was given decades ago when my grandfather died. Anyone ever seen a key like this before? It's about 2 centimeters long and I have no clue where it came from. It looks like a jewelry piece by Charles Horner. These were made circa 1910. It was a symbol of good luck. This was before the swastika was known for a symbol of Nazism. They adopted it around 1920. Here is a pin with the same design. Amazing thanks. Found these glass goggles in the wall of our 100 year old home. Looks like old safety goggles with the strap missing. Possibly for brassing work on the plumbing. Those are definitely old welding goggles. See photo, I'd say anywhere from the late 1940s to 50s in age. The pick I have is from WW2 factory. You see these type of goggles a lot in factory photos of that mid-century era. What are these yellow things coming out of this lizard's stomach? This is the sixth lizard I've found like this so far this month. This is Siloporus occidentalis and those look like desiccated eggs to me. S. occidentalis will lay 3 to 17 eggs per clutch so this is within the correct range. I'm seeing tiny lizards everywhere at the moment and July is the upper range of the laying season. It's possible unlikely that the lizards in your area are becoming egg bound, dying and are exploding when they decompose, but more likely you have a cat near you that enjoys killing lizards without eating them. The tail here has been severed recently, if it was an older wound you'd see a black regrown stump, which suggests that it dropped the tail to escape from a predator. <laughs> 
gravid lizards are heavier and will probably be easier to catch than a lizard that isn't carrying eggs. If you own a cat, this is one of the reasons it's best to keep them indoors, even if they are fixed and enjoy being outdoors. They kill native animals indiscriminately, mostly birds and lizards, and if you estimate that each of the lizards it killed was carrying 10 eggs, that means that 60 potential new individuals for the next generation have been wiped out. Fence lizards aren't threatened but there are a lot of species you just won't find commonly anymore, and there's no need to make things harder for the wildlife around us solved thank you so much for the detailed response there are a lot of cats in my neighborhood so that would explain why they keep showing up dead some of the others were missing tails as well so they were probably hunted by cats also what type of vehicle hit my family member and drove off 15 to 19 gmc yukon sle or slt trim not a denali can tell by the wheels most denalis have much bigger wheels that are large and gaudy also the grill would be an SLE or SLT trim, possibly a rectangular fog light on passenger side bumper, also from the Yukons. Definitely a Yukon. Great thing about Reddit is that you can be pretty much assured to find someone that knows somehow what it is even with a crappy picture lol. Florida, saw this today right before installing my internet, anyone knows what is this? That is a toke gecko, very very common as pets, they're particularly known for their, bad, attitude and biting the fingers of their keepers, for sure a toke, an oddly happy looking one, usually they're pissed off and barking, here's a video of one barking I was curious and needed to know, it's cute.